me, Dark Renegade of 50. Um, today I have a haul vlog for you. I just got back from Fan Expo 2011 in Toronto, Canada um, at the Toronto Metro Toronto Convention Center. Um, so today I'm going to be showing you all the comic books I got. Um, <laughs> I got a crap load of, of them. I still have a lot of stuff that I forgot to bring with me. But today I'm going to be showing you the majority of my uh, comic book haul that I got. So I'm going to run you through it. Um, but yeah, it was jam-packed in there. There was a lot of people getting their comics. There was a lot of rare ones. There was a lot of <clears throat> comics that were CGC'd. Um, a lot of uh, rare collectibles, Japanese anime figures, posters, Marvel, DC, the works. Like It was just huge in there. So um, I'm going to run you through what I got. So starting off, I got the... Well, the majority of the things I got there was about Venom comics, as I love Venom. He's my favorite Marvel character, so you'll see why pretty much all the majority of my comics I'm going to show you have him in it. So, so here I have uh, Amazing Spider-Man number 379, Maximum Carnage part uh, 7 of 14. Um, Amazing Spider-Man number 380, Maximum Carnage uh, 11 of 14. <clears throat> um, now these ones I got for a dollar <clears throat> uh, as for those ones I just showed you they were about maybe three dollars each um, but here I have Web of Spider Man number 32 uh, part 4 resurrection a dollar it's a good buy actually and I like the cover of this a lot <clears throat> so I got that um, I got some Venom Lethal Protectors I uh, have uh, number 2 Lethal Protector number 3 <clears throat> Web of Spider-Man number 95, uh, Spirits of Venom Part 1, with the Ghost Rider and Johnny Blaze. Very good cover art. Still got to read these. Um, also, for a dollar, I got uh, Venom Funeral Prime number 2, guest starring The Punisher. Uh, Venom Funeral Prime Part 3, Issue 3, only for a dollar as well. <clears throat> uh, yeah, I'm really happy I found those. Uh, Web of Spider-Man number 8 for a dollar as well. Um, love the cover of this one too as well. Uh, this one surprisingly I got for only a dollar. Um, I got Web of Spider-Man number 18 for a dollar. Oh, wait, where is it? Right there. First cameo appearance of Venom. If you guys have this issue, you'll, you'll know what I'm talking about. Um, this is Venom's first ever cameo appearance in, a, in the uh, Spider-Man saga ever. That's where he pushes Peter Parker onto the tracks and uh, his spider sense doesn't tingle or anything like that. So I got this for a dollar <clears throat> and I'm glad to have it. Um, I got um, also here I got um, <coughs> Peter Parker Spectacular Spider-Man number 107. Uh, the saga where uh, Gene DeWolf dies by the Sin Eater, and it has something to tie in with um, Venom's first full appearance in Amazing 300, where he covers the story about the Sin Eater, and Spider-Man captures him. Um, also, um, here is Amazing Spider-Man number 362, Venom and Carnage versus Spider-Man. Love this cover. Um, it's in decent, great shape. Uh, I should have gotten actually two copies of this because uh, it actually has good art and good story in it. And also, uh, we'll, it's not really complete if you don't own three, uh, Amazing Spider-Man number 363, um, the conclusion with Venom and Carnage. Um, I also do have um, um, uh, Carnage's first full appearance, uh, 361 as well. <coughs> now... Next comics are the ones I actually spent a lot of money on. Uh, these cost me a lot. Uh, these are actually the more rare comics I got uh, at the show. Uh, so uh, here I have uh, Amazing Spider-Man number 194, uh, first appearance of the Black Cat. <clears throat> this I paid, um, I think, close to 35 to 40 uh, for its condition. Um, it's, I think it's a 5.0, 5.5 condition. So uh, I said to myself, I'm gonna, I want it, I need it, so I got this. First appearance of the Black Cat. 
Very good. Um, <clears throat> now here's one of my uh, Holy Grails that I've been wanting for a long time. And, uh, you know, it's, it's a pretty hard one to come by. Uh, here's uh, Amazing Spider-Man number 252, first appearance of the symbiote costume in the Amazing Spider-Man series. Um, if you're wondering, it's the 75 cent variant. Um, there's other variants like this. They have a 60 cent variant. There's um, also on the barcode the Spider-Man logo. But yeah, this is a uh, uh, great find, and I got it for a good price. I think I paid uh, 30 for it, close to 30. Uh, I think it's like an 8.0, 8.5 condition. And then also uh, the guy he threw in this for free, uh, Amazing Spider-Man 253, the next issue after that one, with the first appearance of Rose. Um, yeah, it's uh, in decent shape, so he gave it to me for free, which is really lucky. Um, also, here I got um, <clears throat> the very, very first appearance of the Simia costume in general in the Marvel Universe, of course. The one I'm talking about is this one, Secret Wars number 8. Uh, another Holy Grail I've been wanting, so I'm finally glad I picked it up at the show. Uh, yeah, it's uh, I paid about <clears throat> uh, 20 15 around there, uh, well, because I had to pay taxes as well. Um, but yeah, really good shape. It's I think it's in a 8.0 condition. Um, I hope to get this CGC one day. But yeah, it's a very nice find. Also here, <clears throat> um, another one I found for a good price. Uh, I got this for about uh, 20 bucks. Amazing Spider-Man number 316. Second appearance, or second full appearance of Venom, right here. Uh, very, very, very iconic uh, picture for the Spider-Man saga, for the Venom saga. Um, obviously, bought by Todd McFarlane, uh, written by Dave Michelinie. Uh, very good issue. Um, uh, it's one of my favorites. Uh, still need to get 300, which is my uh, my other Holy Grail. I did see it, but. Uh, you know, I was running out of money. I didn't. I mean, if I would have spent 150 on uh, Amazing 300, my you know, <clears throat> my cash deficit would have been uh, very low, so I wouldn't be able to get anything else. Um, uh, also, I have um, uh, this is probably one of the probably the greatest things I bought there. I have uh, this comic here, Hulk versus Venom, number one. Uh, very good condition. I paid twenty for this. Very shiny. <clears throat> I love the cover. It's all bolded out with Hulk and Venom, and the letters for Venom and Hulk are shiny foil material. So there you go. Really, really uh, good buy. I was hoping to find this, and I did. Uh, they only they had five copies um, the day before I went, and then <clears throat> well, actually yesterday. I mean. And then today, they only had two left, so I had to act fast and get them. And uh, also, I, gra I got a graphic novel here. Obviously, it's uh, Spider-Man Birth of Venom as well. So I had to pick this up, too. This I paid about $10. Bucks. Um, obviously, it's opened. It's, it's in really good shape. It has a lot of stuff here. You know, it has a lot of uh, about Venom and stuff here. It's really good art. <clears throat> it um, goes from 252 to, I mean, Secret Wars, then 252, and then all the way to the Venom Saga, which is here and stuff. Really good art. Uh, happy with it, and yeah, it's a good buy. Gotta get this if you're a huge Venom fan like myself. Um, also, I got fan art of Venom, um, signed by the artist. Very, very good. Very awesome. And uh, for things I got autographed, uh, Matt Fraction was there at the show, so he autographed uh, my copy of Fear Itself Book 1. Right there, there's a signature right there in the silver uh, writing. And um, he also autographed Mighty Thor number 4, which I actually like this issue a lot. So yeah, that, that's my haul. Um, but yeah, uh, Fan Expo is only one more day. Hurry up, get your tickets, and go. This has been Dark Renegade of 50, and thank you for watching.